All right, this is going to be a big weekend in San Francisco. One of the city's long-standing traditions happens on Sunday. The Beta Breakers race, thousands expected to take part. And even if you're not running, you could see an impact. And we'll show you exactly why. Because the course crosses the whole city, uh, starting out here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Right, It's going to be tough to get from one side of the city to another. So, 8 o'clock, Howard and Main, stretching down Howard, goes all the way through the city, through Golden Gate Park, and ends at Ocean Beach. All right, so now you know what you'll have to deal with here. Let's get to ABC 7 News reporter Ryan Curry with a look at what you can expect out there. Ryan. Yeah, Larry, good afternoon. We're here at the sports basement in the Presidio where right now so many people are going inside to get their numbers and whatever equipment they need uh, for the race coming up on Sunday. It's a very crowded parking lot. So many people are here and have been here throughout the day. Thousands compete in this event every single year. A lot of them come from out of town. So it's a massive economic boom the city needs every single year. Let's look down for a second and head up this hill. This sidewalk is where thousands of runners will step on come Sunday. I was going to run it, but now I think I might just walk it just to like, enjoy the sights. Um, we did it once a couple years ago, and it was fun. Um, so yeah, it's just nice to be back in San Francisco. From downtown to Golden Gate Park, barricades are stacked up on the side of the road. No parking signs are up on the street poles ahead of the race on Sunday. Competitive for some, a leisurely walk for others. But almost everyone will be wearing some type of costume. Well, not everyone. You can be naked in it, and um, I hope to do that. <laughs> it's fun, it's wacky, it's very San Francisco. This year, you could expect it to be the same. But it is also a big economic boost. Rodney Fong with the Chamber of Commerce says San Francisco businesses heavily benefit from this event. If you, if you run X number of miles, you come back pr pretty hungry. And so uh, we're hopeful that all the neighborhoods in San Francisco um, feel that lift. All the hotels in San Francisco feel that lift. And just the overall energy of uh, things that are happening in San Francisco. This is why we love this beautiful city. This is why the energy is here in the city. Mayor London Breed and city leaders have been vocal about big events coming to revitalize San Francisco's economy. Fong says Beta Breakers checks that box. They're probably staying in these hotels here. I know the restaurants will feel some impact. And then day visitors who are coming into the city and using, using, enjoying the city, enjoying the race, but also the festivities that come along with it and the after parties and everything else. So uh, we're, we're going to feel that economically. A fun event. Those we spoke with can't wait to start. I don't know how to explain it. It's just kind of a nice fun, fun run, I guess, or fun walk or whatever. Now a big change this year, a Waymo car is going to be the pace car for the race. They are a big sponsor for this event, so you can expect that on Sunday. And also, yes, we did mention those road closures, so please be mindful of that. There was going to be a lot of traffic disruptions. We have more information on our website, abc7news.com, if you want to go and get more information about that. But for now, reporting live here in the Presidio, I'm Ryan Curry for ABC7 News. Guys.